Okay, so let's take an image, for example, this image. Um, put it right here. So the image size right now, uh, the file size of my Canva document is like 4K, basically. 384, I mean 3840 by 2160 pixels. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, 4K resolution. Uh, okay, so let's say you want to export this picture, but uh, somehow it's like too big of a file size and you need it reduced. Uh, you have a few options, but first of all, go to share, download, and decide basically which file type you will want to have. Uh, if it doesn't matter, the smallest file type is JPEG. Uh, PNG usually is higher quality, it's uncompressed. So, uh, yeah, if you're fine with JPEG, just go with JPEG. It's just the smallest file size. If you need a specific file size, just go for it, uh, but you have also a few options. So let's just go with PNG for the sake of example. Uh, if you have a pro account, all you have to do is just check the compress file option option right here. You should, you should have a slider and uh, you can basically decrease or increase the compression rate. You can also do the same exact thing uh, for JPEGs. Again, only for pro accounts. Uh, I'm not sure if you do it for PDFs, uh, but uh, if you need it as a PDF file, you can, uh, I mean, basically just always go with PDF standard because PDF print has a higher DPI. It basically means you'll end up with a bigger file size. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's assume you don't have a pro account but you still want them compressed uh so let's go ahead and download them as uh png uh then as jpeg and let's also do uh pdf standard uh we're also going to assume you're not able to resize the file because if you are just go ahead and go to file uh uh, magic resize actually resize custom size and then just decrease the size the more you decrease the size obviously the smaller file you'll end up uh, having file sizes uh, but anyway so we have these three file types the first one is uh, PNG okay second one is a JPEG and the third one is a PDF so if you look at the size right here I'm not sure if you're able to see because it's pretty small but I'll just read it to you the PNG is basically 2.12 megabytes uh, the JPEG is uh, 500 kilobytes uh, it's like half a megabyte uh, and the PDF is 1.5 megabytes uh, if you look let's just open both of them so this is the PNG this is the JPEG let's just zoom into it so you can see I mean if you look at the images there's realistically no visual difference between them they all look pretty much identical and they're like a third of the file size uh, the JPEG compared to the PNG uh, but if you zoom in let's say uh, like this we're like 1000 actually let's just go more 1900 in the same exact spot I guess yeah we're not at 1919 on both of them so if you look closely, you'll see that uh, JPEG right here has all these uh, pixels, basically. Uh, it's not as sharp and as clean as the PNG. Uh, so if you care about that, just go with PNG. It's going to be a bit bigger uh, in file size, but if you don't care about it, I mean, obviously, the... The more you zoom out, you're obviously not going to notice any actual difference. Uh, so like I said, one option is to just go with JPEGs and just to increase the compression rate uh, with the pro account. Okay, now let's assume you don't have a pro account. So we have these three files. Uh, you can go ahead to this website, Compress PNG. Uh, it's also basically a compressor for JPEG and PDF. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, let's just go with each one of them. So we have uh, the PNG. Upload. Wait a few seconds. So yeah, we just compressed it with like sixty percent almost. 
so we went from uh, 2.12 megabytes to 0 0.88 so yeah that's pretty good now let's try with the JPEG it should probably compress a bit less okay well also 55 percent and now now let's go with the PDF 2 we went from 1.6 to uh, half a megabyte like I said to summarize the smallest file size you can get is if you choose to export as a JPEG uh, you can obviously go right here and try to uh, drop down the quality the less quality it has the, mo the more compression it has the smaller the file size is going to be you just have to find the middle ground basically in between uh, the quality and the uh, file size that you're fine with to sacrifice but so the file this the biggest file size is like um, uncompressed PNG it's like 2.12 megabytes and the smallest one we have right now is I believe 220 kilobytes as compressed PNG so this is the the left one is 2.12 and this one is 0.2 if you look at both images uh, it's obviously compressed the, the video you're watching right now it's obviously compressed compressed too on YouTube but like uh, realistically speaking I can't notice any difference and let's just go ahead and zoom again uh, right here 200% it's it you you're slowly starting to see the actual pixelated edges right next to the contrast colors right here but it's still barely noticeable and we're talking about like 90 percent file size reduction so if you're gonna go 100 percent zoom there's no actual noticeable difference i can't see anything right and like regular size obviously there's no difference visually so like I said uh, it's a 90% reduction in file size with almost no visual visual difference uh, it, it obviously depends like I said on how big uh, you want the the rendered size to look like if you want this to be printed on like a huge billboard or somewhere I don't know you're obviously gonna want the higher pos the highest possible quality because as you get closer to the actual thing, you'll start noticing the actual uh, pixelated sides and stuff like that. But if you don't really care about it, you just want to compress it. Like I said, simplest possible way to do it. Just go ahead, download as JPEG, decrease the quality, and that's pretty much it. If you don't have a pro account, use websites like these. Uh, CompressPNG.com or CompressJPEG.com or ShrinkPDF.com. It's the same page. Uh, website basically uh, you just have to toggle I mean yeah it's just, it's a different URL but the same website I guess uh, so yeah anyway I hope I helped uh, to summarize JPEG has the smallest file size and then I don't know I guess PNGs and uh, PDFs are probably close in file size uh, uncompressed PNG probably is the biggest file size uh so yeah go ahead compress them and depending on the file size you want you can choose whatever you s file type you need and uh compress it or not on different websites or directly in canva if you have a pro account anyway that's pretty much it bye